Welcome to another proxy video of Bitcoin related stocks. Just quickly before we move into the uh, smaller list that I have selected right now, just a quick word on Bitcoin. This is the daily chart and you see the vertical breakout above $70,000 and now we're trading a few days later at $88,619. We could be above 90,000 as of today. We are still in November and this move has been epic. A very impressive move by, by Bitcoin. And we'll see also that many proxies are following also at different levels. But I'm ha very happy to see this banana zone type of move from Bitcoin. The potential to be above $100,000 by year end is quite high. So that means that we are going potentially much, much higher in 2025. So that's all I wanted to say about Bitcoin. We are a little extended, so we could have a correction. Be aware of that. We haven't had a red candle in a few days. So we are due for a correction at one point. Let's go over the proxies that I want to cover for this video. I, in my latest video, I had 19 stocks. Now we're down to nine. I cut 10 out of them. So we're going to just quickly go over the top nine stocks that I have linked to Bitcoin or linked to Solana as proxies for you guys. The first stock that is absolutely killing it is MicroStrategy. I think if you want to invest in a Bitcoin proxy, this is the safest one. Why it's the safest one? Because it's the biggest one. It's the one that has more Bitcoin. It's the one that has more easy access to new cash or a possibility to issue shares in the billions at this stage. I think this stock is a no-brainer in my opinion. It's the safest one even though the explosion is price has been quite important already. We see that we finished at $340 yesterday and now in pre-market the stock is trading $20 above that at $360. It's not stopping. Many people are uh, short on micro strategy and that's not a good idea. Short on Bitcoin, short on micro strategy, short on Tesla is not a good thing. So as I indicated, MicroStrategy has tweaked this strategy to unlock value for investors very efficiently. It will continue to do so. Yesterday, they announced a 2 billion new investment in Bitcoin. They bought almost 25,000 Bitcoin that added to their balance sheet. So that's why we saw a combination of that announcement plus the push in price by Bitcoin generated this huge daily candle with this impressive volume. And this stock is not stopping. It will continue to go up. Yes, eventually it will, it will correct, but the momentum is out of this world. It's extremely impressive. So if you have a proxy to invest in, this is the one. This is the safest one. Another stock that is kind of a minor proxy is Tesla. Also performing extremely well, exploding in price due to the Tesla reasons. But there's also a contribution of the Bitcoin amount that they have. I think the valuation of their Bitcoin within their balance sheet is now over $1 billion in value. So it's not, it's not that small, but it's going to continue to grow for Tesla. Again, the stock is performing on its own, but there's a small increment of Bitcoin that is helping also Tesla move higher. The stock is at 350 and pre-market is almost at 360 right now, $10. $10 higher. Again, this stock also is going vertical. It's extended. We should expect a correction also very, very soon. 
Coinbase now, ticker COIN. This talk I indicated that we were in a very, very peculiar situation just below 280, which was a big resistance level. And you see now that yesterday the stock smashed through it easily with massive volumes. So now the stock is going higher. The stock went as high as $324 yesterday, pre-market it's trading at 341 so a lot higher so the momentum continues for coinbase who has bitcoin in its balance sheet but also is involved in the crypto world so one of the giants that we have access to share wise now that this 280 dollars is broken the upside will continue for Coinbase. Now let's review smaller proxies. This is Neptune Digital Assets, ticker NDA.V in the Canadian market. This stock did not move extremely high on the huge move of Bitcoin, but it had moved previously. It's still consolidating. These stocks, like I indicated maybe in a previous video, they are smaller companies. They are in the Canadian market. And the market, I believe it's evaluating if it's the right pricing, is if it's overvalued, if is it undervalued. And also there's question marks about how these companies will access cash for their future growth. Are they going to easily be able to get money, credit for from banks or investment firms? To be able to deploy it and buy more crypto assets we will see in future announcements if they get the ball rolling and are able to raise cash in not so a difficult matter then they're going to explode in price but i think the hesitation in these stocks right now it's three-way first they're small so there's risk involved Two, they're in the Canadian market. And three, are they going to be able to raise cash easily? We will see. But it's a nice stabilization above $1 for Neptune Digital Assets. And I believe it could break at any, at any time upwards. How quickly it will go, it will depend on the market. But it has been holding quite strongly. And like I said, it already made a move from 40 cents to above one dollar so that's already a nice push in price let's see how they will behave in the future next in line is lqwd technologies ticker lqwd.v same thing stock has moved quite a bit but it didn't have a huge movement yesterday with the move of bitcoin again consolidating trying to establish its own price in the market and see if they're going to be able to raise cash the same apply the same points that i just covered for neptune digital assets apply to lqwd because it's a canadian stock and it's a smaller company just be patient let's see who of these small canadian stocks is going to be the first to jump in price one of the best performers uh, was big digital assets it went up 15 percent uh, yesterday so nice move for this proxy for whatever reason the one that has less information about it the, its assets is the one that moved everybody every stock will have its time and uh, again canadian company small company the same rules apply on evaluation access to capital and then proper evaluation by the market are they going to be able to raise cash let's see but a big nice move of 15 percent for big digital yesterday so happy for the investors who have this stock now this is one of the surprising ones on the nasdaq btcs this was a move yesterday for this proxy of 33.33 percent so a nice jump in price 
quite a big volume compared to what they had before. So have a look at BTS, BTCS. It could be an advantage to be on the Nasdaq versus the Canadian proxies. They could be, they could have a lot easier time getting access to capital. Follow the news, follow if they are going to be able to raise cash efficiently and follow the price action. This is one of the surprises that I didn't think would move, but somehow started a big jump in price with over 30% yesterday. And finally, this is Soul Strategies linked to uh, Solana. And this proxy is even a little more complex for the market. It corrected quite a lot, um, it went uh, almost to $1 and then came back to $1.36. So quite volatile, quite quite scary. Below one dollar, I would have been concerned to um, close the position. We are at one dollar thirty-six. This is again a small company, Canadian market. They have the micro strategy strategy, but it's linked to Solana, an even less known asset in the financial world. So are they going to be able to raise cash efficiently and deploy it towards Solana? They have sold their Bitcoin previously to raise cash and then to put it into Solana. They still have Bitcoin and they could technically still sell Bitcoin and put it in Solana still. But after that, once they don't have an, uh, Bitcoin anymore, are they going to be able to raise cash and add it to the balance sheet? That's a big question mark because it's not related to Bitcoin that much. It could be a risk here of having a lot more trouble. If the other proxies have trouble raising cash with Bitcoin in their, in their balance sheet, is Soul Strategy going to have even a harder time to get access to cash? We will see. But as soon as press release comes in that they were able to raise cash and deploy it to buy more Solana, for example, it's going to ease a lot of that uncertainty and then the stock should move upwards. Note, however, that this stock started at 20 cents. It's trading at $1.36. So it has already had a nice pump in price prior to the explosion in price for Bitcoin. So it could be already priced in a little bit. Very difficult to say. So I'm trying to day by day, look at their movement, follow the news. But the most critical thing in the future will be the announcement of raising cash to be able to buy more crypto assets for any of these cryptos, except for any of these proxies except Tesla I would say I don't think Tesla will add to the position that they have if they do that would be a bonus but it's not required for Tesla Coinbase could add more micro strategy will for sure and the others I'm expecting will raise cash and add to their crypto assets so that's the overview I know it's for some of these there's a little disappointment on their movement, but all of them have gone up in price. So it's just maybe a returning to the mean and establishing a new base for the upcoming movement. We will see. Note, however, that all this movement was done while Bitcoin was going up. How will all these proxies react when Bitcoin corrects? That's another thing you need to look at. Are they correcting hard? Are they correcting a little? The ones that correct the less are the strongest ones. So keep that in mind.